freelance environmental education. That's a thing? Yes, it is. I've had more than one conversation with people who weren't aware that freelance environmental educators existed. And this is one of the handful of reasons why I started the Freelance Project, this podcast, and the co-working space. Today, I'm introducing a new element to the podcast. I'm calling it Freelance EE. This feature will address the freelance community as a whole. As you know, this podcast is already about highlighting the work of individuals. This new feature will provide a broader perspective of the field. I see it as a way to round out the conversation and something that I need to do to bring proper attention to the field. I also see it as something that will help establish freelance environmental education as a thing. Welcome to Talaterra, a podcast about freelance educators working in natural resource fields and environmental education. Who are these educators? What do they do? Join me, and let's find out together. This is your host, Tanya Marion. Engineering, aquaculture, tracking, consumerism, maritime navigation. The individuals connecting people with nature talk about more than just plants, animals, and water. This fact was established clearly in the results of the survey I created at the very beginning of the freelance project. The question I asked was this, which of the following topics do you address in your work? Check all that apply. I listed as answer choices the usual topics, plants, animals, landscapes, ecology, geology, agriculture, gardening, environment, art, music, and writing. I also offered an answer choice titled Other that provided respondents the opportunity to write down topics not included in the options I provided. It turns out that educators are talking about many other subjects because there were 58 topics listed in the other section, and this gave me some indication about the depth, breadth, and knowledge in the freelance community. What other topics do freelance educators address in their programs? Here's the list. Science, wild birds, animal tracking, archery, horses, bird language, personal growth, religion, Nature Environmental Identity in Marginalized Persons Endangered Species Conservation Soil Quality Movement Physics Computer Science Mechanical Engineering Meteorology Systems Thinking Geography Conservation Education History Historic Artifacts Work Politics Audience Participation, Maritime Culture, Coastal Flora and Fauna, Organic Navigational Cues, Mindfulness Through Photography, Sustainability, Astronomy, Paleontology, Freshwater Ecology, Cultural Resources, Object Interpretation, Reenactment Activities, Watersheds, Student Leadership, Watershed Issues, River Ecology, Water Policy, Climate Change, Free Play, Field Journaling, Outdoor Skills, Energy Conservation, Design, Conscious Consumerism, Waste Diversion, Hydrology, Wetlands, Historic Herbalism, Microbes, Fungi, Plant Pollinator Interactions, Sculpture, as in the sculpture of plants and animals, and wilderness survival. Add to this the topics discussed with guests on the podcast, and it's clear that freelance professionals working in environmental education, natural resource fields, and nature and heritage interpretation are engaging in rich conversations with the individuals in their programs. Are you a freelance educator? 
Would you like to add your specialty to this list? If so, please complete the form that you'll find in the show notes. Click on the link to introduce yourself and describe what you do. I look forward to learning more about how you contribute to lifelong learning in your community. Thank you for your time today and for your interest in Freelance EE, the new component of the Talaterra podcast, offering greater insight into the field of freelance environmental education. See you next week.